I'm in Huntington Beach. I am back in Huntington Beach, which is where I used to live, where Brock still lives. And I'm back here. I may see Brock later, but I'm really here because I'm hanging out with Maria and Will today, who is a power couple, really inspiring humans. I always get so much out of hanging out with them. They're both entrepreneurs helping people create a life that they absolutely love, which if you've been hanging out for a while, I'm all about that. I thought I'd bring you guys with me today because I feel like I always get so much out of being in their presence. They have so much valuable knowledge that I wanted to share that with you. But first, I thought I was gonna go to the beach. I love being in LA and I actually just signed a lease, which is crazy. But having this once in a while is super nice too. I'm just gonna take a moment and enjoy it for a sec. That was nice. Also, you know what just happened last night? I got verified on YouTube. I didn't know that I had to apply for that or that was a thing, but apparently when you get 100,000 subscribers, you can apply to get verified. So I did that last night and this morning, they replied back to me and said that I was verified. That's cool. Thank you. It's because of all of you guys that you were watching my videos. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Okay, this is Will. Hi. And here's Maria. Hi. We're gonna introduce them later, but also, <laughs> like, we just gotta first look at this setup because that is what I need in my life. Because <laughs> mine is nothing Multiple like that. Camera. Yes. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Wow. Also, do you guys remember this kitchen? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. It looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> they live in the same complex. It's, it's Brock fun. and I. We have a little. We have a little. It's, it's horrible. Okay. Look at the marble pattern on, above the stove. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I said that, that is You'll never unsee it. What? <laughs> we never noticed it at all and then we took a picture and it was in the background and then my friend was like, why do you have a <laughs> so we just shot a video for Maria's channel. Yeah, we she has crushed it. We absolutely crushed it. But I want to say you crushed it. So the thing is, I get so nervous. This is what makes me nervous. <laughs> and then also sitting next to someone like you, I feel get like out of here. I get nervous pitching in front of you. <laughs> so I feel like you are so confident. If someone wants to build confidence, do you have any advice for them? Yeah, I do. So I'll say two things. One. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get. There's no shortcut for concise, polished, poised presentation. You just have to put the work in to become better. The second tip I would give that everybody can implement right now to become more confident, especially online and video, is slowing down. So I slowly, need to yes, remember and I that. Did. That's great advice because you can use that with whatever it is anything you're doing. in yeah. an interview. You take that breath. You calm yourself down. You say, "Okay, I'm a bad bitch. I've got this. <laughs> I can yes. totally do it." And then, you just, up. and then you're good and you slow down. You're not feeling confident, like fake it till you make it. Project that confidence. Even if you're not feeling it, you can do things with your body language, you know, sitting up straight, lifting your head up to just project that confidence. Those are my tips, honestly. Oh, yeah. I love that, yeah. I love that, I yeah. need that. I'm gonna practice. Last week I got a comment on YouTube. I had created a video on my goals and at the end of the video I was sharing about how I think that everyone should be doing the thing that they love. If you have an urge to do something, you gotta do it. And someone commented, I would love to do that, but I have a job. How am I gonna do that? How am I gonna pay the bills? And I hear a lot of people talking about that, saying that when we want to do something, but we have a job or we have this feeling of needing to pay the bills. So that dream that's inside of our mind, we just kind of forget about because we have responsibilities. We're an adult and we gotta pay the bills. But Maria and I, we're just chatting and she always inspires me so much when it comes to expanding your mind and really following that gut feeling when there's something that you want really deeply and working hard for it. So we wanna share a, few, a little bit with you. <laughs> Let's do it. I believe that for those of us that are in unfulfilling jobs, you know, maybe you're watching this and you're in a job you hate, and you're just not loving what you're doing, and you hear about people who are making money online and are making like a full-time living as a content creator or doing things that you want for you, but you don't believe it's possible for you. You believe it's possible for other people, but there's a gap in your belief that it's possible for you. And so what I would say if it were you, just acknowledging that it's normal to feel like that. I'm sure at one point you doubted, is this possible for me? Can I do this, right? And so understanding that it's actually really normal to wonder, is this possible for me? And that those doubts are normal. I run a million dollar company and I have those same doubts right now. 
those doubts never go away. People like Pranilla and I, we feel those feels, we fear those doubts, and we take action anyways. That fear can hold us back from doing what we really want to do with our lives. She made 1.3 million yeah. last year, yeah. which is so impressive. And you were telling me how you're not embarrassed about saying that because you want to expand women's minds. Yeah, it's actually really important. So I talk about how I made over a million dollars last year and the year before, and I do it very confidently and I do it with a lot of pride because it's actually really rare. Let me give you the statistic. Of all the entrepreneurs who hit seven figures, only 1.7% of them are women. So a very tiny percentage of women are pulling in revenue at this point. And I share this not to brag, but I share it very intentionally. For those of you who are women who are watching this, I want to expand your mind to what's possible. I'm not the smartest person in the room. I'm just not. I'm not the most coordinated. I'm not the most talented. Um, I'm just somebody that wanted something and was true to that desire and took action in spite of the fear. And so I share all the time. I talk about my income. I talk about how much money I make super on purpose because I want you watching this to understand, okay, if Maria can do this, literally I can do because I'm genuinely as talented, if not more, than Maria is. I'm really not. Like, I just am somebody who took the action, which any one of us can do. Do you have any tips for someone who is at a job right yeah. now? They need, obviously, the bills to be paid. How could you slowly start if you want to... Yeah, you know, it's a super good question because there's reality, right? We got to pay our mortgage. We got to pay the bills. So what I do is I help women make money online. So I hear very valid reasons all the time. I can't do this because I have four kids at home. I can't do this because I have a nine to five job. I have bills to pay, et cetera, et cetera. And those are valid. You have bills to pay and kids to take care of and a real responsibility as, as an adult. What I did, what, my, what a lot of my students do, what a lot of people do is they work their dream in the after hours. So I wanna tell you a story of one of my students, Kim, and she's my favorite example of it because she had every reason in the book to not go for her dreams. She had four children that she was the primary caretaker for. She had a full-time job. So she worked at like eight to six. Kim had every reason to not go after her dreams, but she woke up at 4.30 in the morning and worked before she went to work and got her kids ready for school and all of that. And then she came home and she worked until 10 or 11 at night. That's a huge, huge sacrifice. But because she did that after a year, she was able to quit her job. And now she does what she loves full time. She has pays her bills. She makes a great living more than she did at her nine to five job. I love her story because she had every reason not to. She had all the responsibilities, all the kids, all the excuses, and she took action anyways. And now she's making a great living doing what she loves. And she has a lot more time with her kids too, which I also love. It's just proof that anybody can do it. That's really what I believe. And it takes hard work. Yeah. It took you eight years to yeah. build up your business. It did. Anything you want out of life, you have to work for. I always tell people in my first year of business, I worked a lot and I only made $62. Like the whole year, I only made $62 in my whole first year. And then the year after that, I made like $350. So most people at that point, only having made less than $500 after two years of work would have quit. Fast forward eight years later, that's the first year I hit seven figures. Check out all of Maria's stuff. She has a YouTube channel. I've been binge watching that because I can learn so much from all of yeah. her videos. There's so much value in it. I've been putting a ton of work into it. Thank you for saying yeah. it. I love to hear any any compliments I can get on my YouTube channel, I will definitely take because we've been putting so much work into yeah, that. It's yeah, it's super good. She like yeah. guides you through it step by step. So if mm -hmm. this is something you want to create your little dream in your the back of your mind actually turn it into reality then i would hope that you check out her channel and she also like you sell courses that are yeah. really affordable yeah stuff, so. i they're super affordable but i tell people like go watch my free stuff first and start you can make money from my free stuff like start there get a sense of okay i'm in this i can actually do this um, and then whenever you're ready if you want me to show you more i can yeah but yeah. definitely start with my youtube channel it's possible for you. And that's the thing I want you to take away from this. Each one of you has these fear monsters that come up or these excuse monsters that tell you, I can't do it. That's a lie. You can do it. And I've seen like literally thousands of women that are in my world go from a deep secret desire to actually doing it. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. I think the big message I want you to understand is like, it's possible for you. You can do it. Love yeah. that. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I was in corporate. For two and a half years out of college, Ray's company hadn't taken off yet. And yeah. I was like, I really want to do mine still, but we have to pay the bills. I guess I was like, you know what? People told me if I keep doing this, that it'll work. In doing that, I just kept getting better and better and better. Yeah. And I started making more and more and more until eventually I could afford to just do that full time. I didn't need the money from the corporate job anymore. I never focused on it like, oh, I have to 
replace my corporate salary right now, it's those small little goals that make that huge giant goal seem way more manageable. And so if you just take it and break it down very simply, you can just enjoy doing what you do and trying to get you like 1% better at it every day. And then you do that and it, and it builds. And then the next thing you know, you're here and you're making these videos and helping other people. <laughs> I just got in my workout gear. Will is gonna take me through a booty workout. Yes. <laughs> Look at the camera that we're gonna it's gonna look sick. It's gonna be pro. Johnny's gonna shoot us today. I am the videographer for Maria and Will. I do a lot of work with them. How dope is that, having your own videographer? It's pretty today? cool. You're gonna make me feel terrible about what <laughs> I typically put out. <laughs> it's okay. It's, I forgot we were working out and I put on the wrong shoes. And I am also mic'd up. Things are getting pro. Just finished an awesome booty workout which will come out next week because I think it's better to do in like a separate video because Will literally like walked us through all of it. He trains competitive bodybuilders so I think this will be really beneficial for anyone who's wanting to build their booty. I definitely felt it. It was good. I'm so hungry so I need to find some food somewhere. I just asked someone at the store if I could borrow her sanitizer. She was like, you don't have to borrow it. I don't think I'll want it back. <laughs> I have not had baby carrots in so long because I don't do my typical baby carrot drive snack anymore because first of all, I don't drive as much anymore, but also I don't snack anymore. I eat meals, but the reason I'm able to do that right now is because I'm making it a part of my meal. I bought wraps and two of these like salads. My baby carrots are a part of my meal. Whoa, I am dark, but look at that sunset. I really hope that Maria's tips on you following your passion and creating some sort of side hustle, if that's something you want, really believing that you can do it because you can. I believe in you. I know you can do it. And I just want you to live the happiest, best life. And we get out of our comfort zone and we do things like that. We have no idea where life can take us. What is it really that you want? If everything went perfectly, what would you want? And then go do that right now. Just get started. One tiny little action step that you can do today, a little action step that you can do tomorrow, and then little action steps add up over time. Like she said, it took her eight years to build her business, so be patient. I shouldn't be driving and vlogging, so please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, click this uh, like button too and uh, the bell and all of it. I would really appreciate it because it helps my channel grow so much. Thank you so much, and I hope that you have a beautiful day. See you in the next one.